Hello everybody and welcome along to today's tutorial uh, where we're going to explore a function or a feature of the Formidable Digital Writing Platform. Formidable is a web-based software and it can be hosted by us or by a business partner or installed on your own network for optimum security. It is then accessed using any web browser that is flash enabled uh, using a HTTPS secure encrypted connection and using the credentials given to you when you install the software. The home screen, as you can see, um, is totally retailable in terms of graphics and, uh, and colors to create your own uh, branding, should you wish. I'm currently logged in as administrator, and therefore I can see the administration screens and the design tool. Most uh, users would only see the viewer module and the viewer is used to validate handwriting on inbound forms. It is not relevant for every single form, but it is for those where the handwriting is going to end up in fields in a database and uh, integrated in, uh, therefore it has to be accurate, and uh, this is a good place and an easy module to use to, uh, to check that. Um, that uh, will be subject to a separate tutorial. So let's jump into Design Tool, and I'm going to show you how quick and easy and painless it is to digitize a form, print it, write on it and uh, see the results. So here's the design tool window, this is our working area, there's no form there yet and uh, we have other windows too on the left hand and the right hand side which are the settings. Uh, the right hand side enables us to set recognition up for one or several or all of the fields on the form, um, whereas this side enables us to set the key attributes to the form. That make it work and that we can move these around to create more space should we wish to. The first thing we need is, is a form in here and that can be generated inside something like um, Adobe InDesign or Quark Express or any of those kind of drawing tools um, or it could be as simple as a Word document uh, such as this one so this was created by, by me in, in Microsoft Word um, and all we need to do is just save that as a PDF Okay, so here is the PDF inside uh, PDF Reader. So let's get rid of that and let's go back to Formidable and uh, upload that background. Now I'm just going to maximize the screen so we can see easier. Okay, let's call this the better way. Let's upload the background in PDF format that we just saved, and it was called uh, the Better Way, I think, wasn't it? Sometimes it had better way. Had better way. Okay, there's the artwork. We can uh, zoom in and zoom out and, and all sorts of stuff like that. But let's just fit that to the window. That's quite a big enough form to be able to see. If it was multiple pages, we could flick through that using this button up here. I'm not going to go through all the features and functions of this today um, because that would be a training course um, but let's just rattle through and set uh, recognition to the date field and the ref field and then we'll print it and use it. So uh, this is going to be sent via mobile phone I'm going to have recognition and I'd like the pen strokes in the finished PDF to be high resolution and then I'm going to select that area uh, there for recognition. So the pink area is now where I write the system when it comes in it will try and recognize that and convert it into computer text. That field is therefore called date because that's the name on the document and the uh, recognition engine is going to look up against uh, the date lexicon or dictionary which means regardless of how I write the date um, it will get it right. And let's just do the same for reference just unlock it so we can move that around and that's a reference number and that is going to be a number. There are other options in these lexicons um, most of the standard ones exist and there's also a custom one should you have a, a list of acronyms or industry standard uh, or uh, in, uh, industry specific information. 
and the next thing we need to do is add a send box so that we can tick that uh, when it's printed and, and send it via mobile phone so that's done uh, let's just send some message back to the phone saying thank you for working better and then I would like uh, that delivered as XML and PDF to email to my pen because I'm the writer of that pen uh, and the subjects of the email will be uh, whatever I type in here if this was going through the viewer I could uh, add a different email address to send it to after it's been through the viewer and of course different outputs too uh, but we're not going to do that today so that's done um, all we need to do now is, is save that as we're saving this uh, the, the system is writing the code uh, behind this, that will then make this work once a form comes into the uh, comes into the server. So the next thing we need to do is to install that application that I've just saved to my desktop, and we do that through the administration screen and the applications tab. Install application. Find the uh, file that we just created uh, and install that. And we should see that at the top of the list there. If I click that once, you can see a thumbnail to check it's the right and see what version it is, when it was created, etc. Now, the next thing we need is some pattern next to it because it can't print without pattern. There is pattern on this form here, so I'm going to move this pattern to there, or I could buy some uh, and generate an order request uh, should I wish. But for the purposes of this, I'm going to move that move that to the better way of working now you can see it's got uh, some pattern next to it so the next thing we need to do is to print that form and we do that through some software called print processor um, this is sat locally on my PC and it can be as, as many PCs as you wish and that is talking to the correct server using my credentials there um, the next thing I need to do is a quick update on that and it's going to show me in bold italics uh, what new forms have arrived, uh, which forms have now got pattern associated to them as well and you'll see there's our, our new change which is uh, this new application. So I'm going to print one copy of that and uh, that's going to hit the printer. The printer I'm using is an Oki uh, 3600 um, a, a postscript color laser printer now is the, the best one is a, a C321DN um, that does about 20 pages a minute in color uh, costs about £160 and there are cheaper ones with a slower speed uh, that cost less than that as well so laser printing is not expensive these days so I have my form and I'm just about to write some information on that I'm just writing the date A reference number of 39624 and I'm writing some other uh, key information so you can see what that looks like signing my name printing my name and I'm now ticking send which is going to send uh, that to my mobile phone and on my mobile phone I have some software called Pen Pusher which has taken the files off the pen and um, is going to route them to uh, my email address and there's the email just come in and you see how quick that was, that was literally seconds so here's the email with the subject that we talked about and um, Here's the PDF that I just completed. Uh, you can see the high resolution of the strokes are, are just not uh, affected whatsoever by the, the amount of zoom in you can do. And there it is. It is easy to make things better. There's my signature. So that's the PDF. And uh, here is the XML which should have the translation of today's date in it and also the reference number so yep 16th of Jan 2013 and uh, 39624 which is the um, thing that we wrote uh, this also gives me the pen ID it came from the mobile phone the pattern ID of the paper 
um, which application and, uh, and all sorts of other key information that we would use to integrate into systems. So that concludes the uh, tutorial. We hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching and uh, please watch out for our other ones. Thank you.